The effect that Ornatrix operator have on your hair in Cinema 4D can be filtered individually per operator using the strand groups workflow. To do this, you simply need to select your operator and find this applies to tab here. So aside from the basic options, you have this tab where you can select a strand group and the blend distance. Now I have previously used edit guides to select half of my hair and assign them a group of two and the other side is assigned a group of one. So I have separated my hair into halves of uh, group two and group one. If I go to my change width operator and I select uh, group two, I'm telling it to only apply this operator to strand group two, which essentially leaves uh, the rest of the hair, which is strand group one, without any width information, or the hair has become super thin because there is no width to them. Now, if I go to my width operator and I, I adjust the width here, it's only applying itself to this uh, right hand side of my character. However, in some cases, this may be problematic because you have this very sharp transition here between the, the hairs that do have application of operator to them and the ones that that are not affected by this operator. In main cases, you want to avoid having this very sharp edge here. With Onatrix, this is easy to do. If you go back to this applies to tab, you also have the blend distance uh, parameter. And by default, it's set to zero and it is in centimeters. And you can adjust this. If you change this blend distance value to a larger value, it's going to linearly blend the applied areas of the operators with the not applied areas. Therefore, removing this very, very uh, harsh edge that you have when you're just doing standard filtering. If this value is positive, it's going to go into the areas that were previously not affected by this operator. If you set this value to negative value, it's going to go into areas that were previously affected by this operator. So you can tell the operator to go in either direction. Most of the procedural operators in Ornatrix have this option. So if I go to my freeze operator, right now all of the strands are freezed. I'm just going to go and remove the filtering from the uh, change width operator. And in the freeze operator, I can also select a strand group of two and just apply the freeze to the right hand side of the operator. And then if I change my group blend distance parameter, I can uh, blend in the freeze to the either side of my hair mesh. So if I increase this value to be positive, it's going to uh, freeze the left hand side and it's going to linearly interpolate between the areas that were not affected and the areas that were affected. And if I do the other side, it's going to do the opposite. Again, most of the operators have this, and uh, this is a very nice way to smoothly uh, blend in various operators so you can have many of them inside of your grooms, all working together in a very smooth fashion.